were the people that were falling through the cracks. We'd get referrals from the mailman, from the gas man, there's something going on with that, that, that older um, person that's living in that home. So the main goal was to bring services to these individuals um, to avoid the stigma of saying, oh, just come on into the mental health, local mental health clinic. Most often we are not asked to come there by the person we're coming to see. And so it's very, you have to be very creative uh, to come in and, and start an interview. My role is as a social worker to do a biopsychosocial assessment of the client. And I'm a registered nurse and so I also do a biopsychosocial assessment but looking more towards the medical side and its implications um, on the psychiatric problems that the client may be having. My nurses do a head-to-toe assessment. They listen to breath sounds, listen to bowel sounds. They look at your pedal pulse and feel it. They uh, look at your toes, look at how you're taking care of yourself literally from head to toe. It's really comprehensive. Often the older adult presents with behavioral changes and when they present to the um, mental health system, it's often interpreted in terms of a mental illness when in fact it may be a physical illness. For example, if someone's diabetic, their behavior may change very radically if their sugar goes down. So my focus has been looking at the interrelationship of what can be physical and what can be uh, behavioral. So many bad things that he does to me. So with this client, we'd have to look at, at first of all, diagnostically what's going on. Are her beliefs in fact real? Are they founded in reality or is this something that she's c come to believe over a period of time? And then to look at what kind of medications would be appropriate for whichever one of these diagnostic categories are. I told the doctor and because mm -hmm. I felt them too strong and she said it was okay sí. to cut them in a half. So sometimes simply educating the family about what is the process. Here is your, your mother, she's losing her memory, she's afraid of everything, she says no to everything, she fights you, and you engage her in an argument. If we simply talk to the family and teach them about not engaging in the argument and how to redirect the family member, then, then you can sometimes save a relationship or the importance of medication and adherence. Um, the family is really a very integral part and we always try to bring the family in and get as many friends involved that we, that we know of and that the client will allow us to um, engage with. It takes a village. Ah, al principio sí, yes, porque cuando it. uno no conoce a las personas, cualquier persona puede decir, ¿me va a ayudar o no me va a ayudar? Y, y ha venido en el tiempo que le ha tocado venir y viene y conversa conmigo y yo me siento bien. Uh, it could be a mental issue uh, from depression, from schizophrenia, from a variety of diagnoses and the first responder is not going to know what the diagnosis is. Rather than ask them to repeat three words like, you know, do you know your name? Do you know where you're at? What day is it? Who's the president? Those, you know, general orientation questions of orientation. Are you basically satisfied with your life? Do you feel that your life is empty? These are just four simple questions. Are you in good spirits most of the time? And do you feel happy most of the time? And lots of older adults, they're not going to own, I'm depressed.
We have trainees who have completed their psychiatry training, their internal medicine training, and have gone on to fellowships, you know, postgraduate uh, trainings, and are um, and we're now having as part of their training home visits with the Genesis team, and it has been a wildly terrific success. Now, the goal is not to place people in nursing homes and skilled nursing facilities, but to let people live. Ahorita, ahorita me siento feliz. Me siento feliz, me siento contenta porque sé que no estoy sola, que right. tengo un Dios muy grande en primer lugar y que pone a muchas personas a mi alrededor.